Hey, hello everyone. I hope that you are doing well and that you are staying safe. By now, some of you may have heard that Miami-Dade and Broward County are going to be allowing a phase one reopening of houses of worship at 25% capacity as of May 26th. We have not yet made a decision about a reopening date for new life. However, we are praying for God's wisdom because we want to proceed with great caution in making any decisions about reopening and when it will be wise and safe to do so. When we do reopen, we want to let you know that church will not look like it did before we were shut down. Even though restrictions are being lifted, the coronavirus is as contagious and as serious as it was before the shutdown began. The coronavirus has not changed. The government simply used that time in the shutdown to slow down the infection rate in order for the nation to be better prepared with PPE, hospital beds, ventilators, and testing so that we would be able to cope with the numerous infections. So even when we reopen, the threat is still real and we will need to continue to practice social distancing and we will have certain measures in place. Every other row will be closed off to allow for that space between worshipers. Everyone will be required to wear a mask during the entire service. If you're not wearing a mask, you will not be able to remain in the service. And this is the requirement per the restrictions of Miami-Dade County and Broward County. So masks will be worn during the entire service. So if you don't feel as if you can do that comfortably, we would encourage you to remain home and continue to worship with us through our live stream. We also would encourage anyone who is in a vulnerable population, uh, if, if you are a senior or if you have an underlying medical condition, we would encourage you to remain home and continue to worship together with us through our live stream services. We will also have touchless services where there will be no physical greetings, there will be no passing of offering bags, electronic giving, text giving, and online giving will continue to be our emphasis. There will be no distribution of, of materials and, and doors will be propped open so that everything will be touchless. The dismissal of our services will be by sections so that uh, people will not be crowding in the hallways or at the exits. Everyone will need to exit the building and there will be no lingering in the facility. Our schedule will be modified when we initially open and not all ministries will resume at the beginning. But we will provide those details when we get closer to reopening. The health and safety of our congregation is our priority. But before we make any decisions about reopening and what date that will be, we would like to ask for your input. Your thoughts in this regard would help to inform our decisions. So we have prepared a brief survey for you online. It's just 10 questions long, most of them multiple choice or, or yes or no. And it will only take about two or three minutes to complete. The link for the survey is included in the description of this video. Would you just take a couple of minutes right now to complete that survey for us? And please, Keep us in your prayers as we make these very important decisions moving forward. Again, we have not yet set a date for reopening. We are praying for God's wisdom. Please pray for us. We have never had to deal with a pandemic before, and we need God's leading. God bless you and thank you in advance for taking this survey and giving us much needed input in our decisions. We love you.